Hi! Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I groom Sami at home in between appointments to the groomer. Now, when we're at home, I usually take Sami to the groomer every four to six weeks. Um, he gets hand stripped, uh, he gets his claws cut and all, all of that. Now, if you followed our videos, you know that we're not at home right now. We are in Greece and I don't have a groomer here. We're gonna be here for a few months, so I'm gonna have to find one um, and take him. Until then, he really is in need of some at-home grooming. You can barely see his eyes because of his long bangs and his claws are way too long right now. The fur on his belly needs to be trimmed as well and, you know, his uh, delicate areas. So today I'm gonna get into all of that and I'm gonna show you what I do, how I take care of Sami in between appointments. First of all, um, Sami usually takes a bath every two weeks, roughly, maybe even three weeks lately. His allergies are not acting up anymore and he doesn't need to take a bath every week like he used to before. In between baths, I like to use wet wipes to keep him fresh and clean. And these are the wipes that I use. I get them from Amazon. I love them. I've been using them for the past two years. Um, and I really like them because they are uh, hypoallergenic. They have no perfume, which is really important because he doesn't like perfume on him and neither do I. Uh, they are environmentally friendly. They have no chemical um, harmful substances. I use these every night before bed. They clean really well. They get rid of the smell and I'm gonna put the link in the description for you if you want to check them out. Another thing I'm doing to keep Sami's coat fresh and clean um, is I use these two combs that actually my groomer recommended and I, I used to use brushes in the past when Sami was a puppy and she said don't use brushes, these are the best for Westies, um, this is a wider uh, toothed comb, toothed, a wider comb Okay, it's wider on one end and, you know, finer. And this is a really, really fine comb that is great for the face and for the paws. So I'm gonna brush him right now because before we can do anything, he, he needs a little bit of brushing. So I'm gonna show you. Oh, I think he's a little bit sleepy. So these are really good because they um, take the dirt right out of the hair. So if your waistie gets dirty, plays in the mud or something and it's not something major like he needs a bath, you just let it dry and then comb him with one of these combs and the dirt will just fall right off. And it's also good because it pulls the dead hairs out, kind of like hand stripping. Um, so it freshens up the coat and it helps the skin stay healthy. Oh my god, you're so sleepy. This is actually the area where he tends to develop knots. So that's why he needs brushing ideally every few days. He's a happy boy. Oh, he's a sleepy boy. Thank you. 
Hey, all breast, looking like a teddy bear. A very hot teddy bear because it's really warm in here. So take a look at all the dead hairs that came out. This is really great. It's recommended you do this, you know, even daily, but I don't do it daily because I'm too lazy for that. But I probably try to do it twice a week. Okay, so now that he is all combed, we can start with the bangs. I'm gonna start with the bangs because um, it's the most risky part. I'm gonna cut his bangs. I have here my scissors with me and I need him to be patient and rested. So I'm gonna do that first because otherwise later he's gonna get bored and he might make some sudden movements and we don't want that. So one thing I should probably mention at this point is that I do this uh, with Sami because I know he's a very calm and obedient dog. And he's used to being handled and he's used to a lot of grooming. Uh, but if, you know, don't do this at home if your dog is not used to grooming or if he's hyperactive. Um, even if it's just a time of day when he's got a lot of energy, don't do it then. Because it's, it's very risky and it's better not to do it if you don't trust your dog 100%. Put the camera here so I can show you. So first of all, we're gonna need a comb. And just get these hairs the way they normally would be, right in the eyes. No mesh. So what I did is, you couldn't see that, I'm sorry. I went into one corner of the eye and I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it again. I went into the corner of the eye right here and just cut like this. You don't wanna cut too much because then you'll ruin the shape of the muzzle. So you just cut a little bit, just the bit that goes over the eye. I'm going to show you how I do the other side. Great. So, moving on to the bangs. We want to cut this layer here that goes right above the eyes. And we just want to cut a little bit, not a lot. So, I'm going to try not to go too high because I don't want him to look weird after this. <laughs> so, this is the scissors I'm using. Uh, it's a simple one. I also have one that is like this. But I'm not gonna use this. I actually never use this. This is mostly for doing the shape on the head. And I'm not doing that uh, at home. <laughs> it's better for everybody that I leave that to the groomers. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit. Don't move. Um, even if you can't tell, and even if I trust him, I am securing his head to make sure that he doesn't do any jerky move movements in case he hears something outside or, you know, anything could happen. No matter how well-behaved a dog is, even Sami, it's always better to be safe and not take chances. Okay, so... Warm, I know. No. Okay. 
So one eye I think is done. It's looking good. Let's see the other one. One thing you want to do is always make sure you keep the sharp end of the scissors away from his eye. This, I mean, sounds obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyway. If you try this, make sure you just don't point it towards the eye, point it outwards. Let's see. Open up. Oh, I think it's cute. Mommy did a good job. Yeah. Oh my God, he's falling asleep. So this is the perfect time to do this when they're sleepy. Yeah. Okay, so I think that this is done. And we're gonna take a water break right now just to see if he wants some water and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. He didn't want any water, but I brought some treats. Devagar. Easy, easy. Okay. He has this thing where he just, you know, bites my hand like a crocodile. He needs to learn how to do this. In a gentle way. Easy. Sort of. <sighs> okay, so. The next thing we're going to do is the belly area. The belly area is really grown. You can see the hair here is really grown. And um, it's a problem because, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really yellow right now. And no matter how hard I clean him even if I wash it with shampoo it still kinda has a smell so I'm just gonna use these clippers so I actually got this a while ago on Amazon um, I got it as part of a pet grooming kit it came with these scissors and with these things you know to adjust the trim size it's really good um, it's really silent look it's not noisy um, it had the best reviews on Amazon I'm gonna link it in the description so I'm gonna choose one of these heads just to, to get the trim not very short because if I trim his uh, belly area really short like this um, it's gonna become really irritated every time he goes into grass and stuff like that. Um, so even when I go to the groomers, I make sure that I tell her, please don't get, don't trim this too short, because if it's too short for an entire week until it grows back, Sami has red spots all over his belly because his skin is so sensitive. So I need to leave a little bit of hair. So I'm just gonna go with, I don't know, the nine. I have no idea. I just eyeball it. So I'm just just gonna go with this and see how it goes.
Okay, so I think this is too long actually. So I'm just gonna change it for another one. I'm gonna go for the six millimeter. Yeah, this is better. Just using this short one to trim right here. You need to always be careful uh, not to ca not to catch the skin, but uh, this this particular clipper is really good, and that never happened. So I really recommend it for at-home grooming. There we go. Yay! Okay, you get a treat. Oh yeah, it was good. What I'm gonna do next now is trim the fur in between the paw pads here. As you can see, it's really long and it needs to be trimmed because he slips a lot on it, you know, on slippery surfaces, um, but also because he gets a lot of stuff caught inside the hair on our walks like pine raisin, um, there are those dry things, I think bristles, I'm not sure what they're called, but he gets a lot of those caught here and they bother him and it's better to keep this um, hair trimmed. So I'm also gonna be using this and I'm not gonna use any of these. I'm just gonna go with this and get to work. If you've never done this before, it's really easy. You just take this. There's no way to actually hurt him because this is pretty safe. It doesn't pinch and there's not a lot of uh, risk here. It's a real challenge. <laughs> trying to film this. Another reason why you're gonna want to trim this hair in between the pads is because uh, they tend to develop yeast infections here and Sami actually has it right now. Um, it, it happens basically because of humidity, the bacteria tends to appear um, and as they lick their paws for whatever reason like washing or um, if they have itchy paws, allergies, sensitive skin like Sami has they tend to lick a lot and keep this area here humid and the hair only makes it worse, you know, the bacteria just kind of multiplies. The more you trim this hair here, um, the more dry his pads are gonna be. <sighs> Let's do the other paw!
Okay, so it's officially way too warm in here, so we're gonna take this outside. And I also can't see anymore, there's no more light. So, we'll see you outside in a minute. Okay, so we moved outside and this is way better. So next thing I'm gonna do is groom his intimate area, to say so, which is the butt. Which you know if you have a dog, uh, when the hair down there grows, uh, it's, it can get really gross and things can get stuck. So you ideally want to trim it every now and then. And this clippers is perfect for that. So that's really quick and easy. I'm sorry for the view, but I committed to showing you the whole process, so now there's no going back. <laughs> You know, there's no exact way to do this, you just eyeball it, I guess. And just try to make it so that no hairs stick out and no poop will get stuck. Whoa, almost dropped the clippers. Okay, so we did that on video. So now the last thing that we're going to do is the claws. Okay, so for the claws, um, the thing is that Sami has a real phobia of nail clippers. He really, really hates them since he had an injury um, on one nail when he was a puppy. And I didn't know. And I took him to the groomer that day. And the groomer clipped his nails and it must have hurt really, really bad. So ever since then, he cannot stand the sight of nail clippers. Um, there's no way. I tried in, in different ways with treats and it just doesn't work. He's really, really scared and I'm not going to put him through that ever again. So what I did was I initially uh, used my nail file and filed his nails uh, one by one, which was a nightmare pretty much because it's a lot of work and he doesn't stand still and all of that. So what I ended up doing a while ago, I went on Amazon and I looked for um, an electric nail file, I guess you would call it. I don't know. This is it. It's called WWVV Pet. <laughs> so I have no idea. It just had the best reviews because um, it's really silent and it's strong enough uh, to file the nail for small dogs. So it's not recommended for big dogs. It's really, really silent. Um, most of them tend to be noisy and, you know, scare dogs. Sami, fortunately, is not scared of this. I like that it has two speeds. I usually use the highest one, the second. You can put the claw here or you can put the claw here. So let's go for it. You need to put a little bit of pressure on the paw and push it down on the on the file. 
The unpleasant thing about this process is that there's this uh, dust, uh, nail dust just flying away. It can be pretty annoying to inhale that. So you can just wear a mask or you can even put a mask on your puppy if you think that this will bother them or cause them any kind of allergies. So right now, Sami's claws are really long. You shouldn't let them grow this long before trimming them or filing them. I usually don't let uh, so, so much time to pass because it can become uncomfortable, even painful when he walks. I don't think it's painful right now, but if they grow enough to touch the ground, then it can be painful. And if left like that, they can even cause uh, joint problems and you know chronic uh, health problems Okay, so I think we're done for today. Um, I'm gonna take Sami for a walk now as it's almost nighttime. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in comments, do you groom your dog at home as well? Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.